Hey gang, Sean here for VFX Jams. In today's episode, we're going to continue on with our film damage series. In this particular episode, we're going to create heat warping. Now, heat warping shows up on the film strip as a subtle distortion in the picture. And that's created when the film strip runs through the projector a number of times, and over time, the heat of the lamp in the projector will actually uh, slightly melt the film as it goes through. It can also happen if, obviously, the film uh, is stored near, uh, you know, something hot, like an old radiator or something like that. Uh, and uh, so pretty much anytime the film is repeatedly exposed to any sort of, um, you know, hot source, uh, it can actually subtly melt the celluloid. Let's jump in and create this effect. So as usual, we're going to bring in our piece of footage into After Effects, and we're going to, I'm going to keep using this um, Santa Monica Pier footage, just so you have a, a frame of reference if you've been doing the other tutorials for this series. And you just drag it into your timeline, that'll create a new comp. And we want to apply this effect to an adjustment layer. So down in our timeline, right mouse click, go to New, Adjustment Layer, and we're going to label it. So let's label this Heat Warp Enter. And then we're going to apply Turbulent Displace to this effect. So we right mouse click, we go to Effect, we go to Distort, and we go down to Turbulent Displace. So it'll create sort of this crazy wavy look. Now, uh, we, don't want it, we don't want it to be that exaggerated, so we're going to take down some of the, um, uh, the turbulence here. And in our amount, we're going to do pretty subtle. We're going to do 0.5. And then in the size, we're going to reduce it down to about 75. And now we want the uh, distortion to update itself, the look of it. Otherwise, it'll just be static. So we want it to sort of ripple through there. So let's create an expression on the random seed. Hold down the Option key if you're on a Mac click on it, it will create, or it'll open up this to type us an expression in here, and we're going to enter time, times, which is the asterisk key, 12. So that means the pattern will update every 12 frames. So let's play it back and see what we have here. So it's pretty subtle. Oops, we got the sound again on our footage. Let's turn that off. It's pretty subtle, but that's the idea. And hopefully this will show up on YouTube. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. But uh, it just adds another little dimension of realism to your footage if you're creating a film damage look. So that's it for Heat Warp from the Film Damage series. If you've enjoyed this, as always, feel free to subscribe and we'll continue to bring you more cool tutorials. And thanks for watching.